I don't know why I got this on my paper, probably because I just want the world to know it and I'm going to say it. Um, it's just written there. It's not even a question. <laughs> it say, I'm Sonny Corleone mixed with Sonny Liston. I will punch until my knuckles bumping and blistering. Bumping and blistering. I'm, I'm something, something different. different. <laughs> A ton of henchmen, a hundred niggas coming with it. Yeah, I, I start, I talk, I talk that shit too. You know what I'm saying? Especially that was with Fahim, man. We was doing strictly for my dumpers. Strictly for my like, dumpers out. You know, you understand, man. I already knew who Fahim was. Like I already was paying attention to the lane. You know what I'm saying? So for me to actually meet the man, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and become closer than brothers. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, and, and to drop an album, I knew what that was gonna do for me. Cause I already know I'm dead nice. I just need oh for God. the world to know, and then I'm lit. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I was going hard, yo. If y'all like you know, lyrics, Sonny man. Coleon, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sonny Colio was be beating the shit out of niggas, man. Mixed with Sonny Lister. You know what I mean? You know? I be when I heard that line, I said, man, what's wrong with what's what's wrong with Jay Nice, man? I said, what's wrong with this dude? <laughs> I'm funny, man. I'm funny. I could be a stand up comedian too, man. It's bad for niggas. He said I'm Sonny Corleone mixed with Sonny Lister. Hey. That shit was crazy. Um, but y'all got to listen to the Strictly for My Dumpers. And, you know, for him. Yeah, get that Strictly for My Dumpers, man. For him, man. God damn. Now to the dump guy, man. Oh, I feel like you and Bahim both took shots at uh, Kanye on, on, on different cuts on that same album. Um, oh, yeah. I was mad at that nigga at that time, man. What? Yeah. Oh, it Savory was, was a what? Yeah, it was. That's who I was. Yep. Savory was a choice. So why, did, why did you feel the need to address him? Man, because... Why you not scared everybody else scared to put it on wax? Because I don't I don't want the same thing these niggas want, man. I don't give a fuck about fame. I don't care about none of this shit niggas. I, I know I'm a pure artist. Mm -hmm. I know I'm gonna be able to sustain a career. I don't need to I don't need for niggas to like me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I need for the people to like me, dog. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm I'm not no I'm not scared of nothing. You know what I'm saying? And plus, that nigga ain't, that nigga Kanye, he ain't going to hear it. You know what I'm saying? He Kanye West. But even if he do hear it, then I must be lit. If he hear it, I'm That's lit. That's right. If um, he hear this, then I'm, I know I must, I must have another seven Yeah, we lit. Bank yeah, if the nigga hear this, we, me and you, we lit. <laughs> right. I'm saying? We, somewhere, we somewhere out the P So Rico since he's not going to hear it, tell me what you really feel about Kanye West. I mean, you know, on the whole, I was, when I said that, I was mad at that nigga because that shit had just came out. So when I was writing, you know, I write about current shit too, like about what's happening. You know, you know, in, in the moment, like in the moment. You know, what I'm saying of the times, right now. I mean, uh, I'm just off it, man. You know, what I'm saying I fuck with Kanye, like just him as a whole, what he's done in his career. You know, what I'm saying like you know the, the shit that's been going on, man. It's just Kanye, man. You know, what I'm saying I hope that if it's really something going on with him that, you know, he finds that peace and he finds that help within self, you know what I'm saying? Because it it, it, it got to come from self. Nobody else is going to be able to Motherfucker do it. Motherfucker don't think I know, but I know y'all toying with that man. I know that y'all got some things that y'all <laughs> implemented. I'm saying too much. Shut up. I'm shutting up. That that's just not, people say, well, he go, he went crazy. It's, it ain't that simple. That My belief, it ain't that simple. Come on, dog. He, yeah. he, he, a, he a regular brother like me and you. Yeah, yeah, real talk. What does it take to act like that? Right, that somebody then did something to the boy, and that's that's we gonna leave it at that. But um, is LeBron James a legit clutch player? Yes, think so. Yes, absolutely. So absolutely. definitely. So um, he was on the team with um, who was the shooters on that Miami team? He had D Way with him, and he brought Ray Allen, right? Ray Allen. They brought Ray Allen. And What's Ray Allen hit an important shot, right? Ray Allen hit that shot again. Ray Allen did, yeah, the side did, yeah, the draw from the side. But it yeah. was who, who, who the other ball though? It's one more ball who played the two. He was kind of short. He used to get busy on that team. I can't think of his name right now. I'm bad with names. Oh, fuck. Anyway, what you were saying? No, so so between let's say all time between LeBron and Ray Allen, who you gonna get a ball to? Five seconds left, you down by two. I'm giving the ball to LeBron. What about LeBron Jordan? LeBron. Huh? LeBron Jordan. Who you going to get a oh, ball to? Jo oh, Jordan. Jordan. Okay. Come on, it's Flair, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Flair, <laughs> Jordan, you still you still fuck with them hoodies? It's I saw you got the square Flair. Huh? Yeah, you, you got the Flair, you got the um the 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 Flair Jordan hood, right? The hoodies with I got the, the nice supreme I got the nice supreme hoodies nice out supreme. there right now. You still fuck yeah, with yeah, them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flair Jordan joints coming soon though. 
Because I, I press motherfuckers when they come on this motherfucker about sending me uh, merch. I want to rock right, it. All right, all right. What you, you, need, you need some merch. I got you. I need Send a PS. Eyes, and motherfuckers are sitting right now watching, you know, a couple of name people that y'all probably know saying, like, this nigga thirsty. Yes, nigga. I don't, I don't got enough. I don't got all this extra money if I can go out and look fly on camera. That's why you're going to see the black hoodie. Every yeah, day. yeah. There ain't no shame yeah, in my game. Yeah, nigga, talk card shit. notes, card gross. <laughs> You know what I mean? So let's do each other a favor. Uh, you give me some clothes, and I will rock that shit on the show. You know what I mean? And when they be like, what's that? I'll, then I'll be able to talk about it even more. Um, let no me doubt. see. Uh, I noticed on your IG you had a pic with, with you sitting in a gamer chair. You a gamer? Nah, nah, nah. That was my man, uh, Mag chair. He had a gamer chair, and it just matched the fit. So, you know, I had to, you know what I mean? I had to coordinate that real quick. You know so you don't fuck with the Xbox? Game. Man, yeah, now I'm a PlayStation nigga, you know what I'm saying? So I'm waiting for that PS5 to come out, you know what I'm saying? Everybody come on my show is PS, PS, PS4, PS... Because, because it's, because it's, you know what I mean? It's like having an iPhone. You, you want that PS5, man, you know what I mean? Anything else is you kind of Android in it a little bit, you <laughs> know what I mean? But you know what's crazy, though? <laughs> you know what's crazy, though? Xbox One got my favorite video game I never played yet called Cuphead and Mugman. If there's any nerds that not nerds, but if there's any game niggas that watch this that know what that is, just know that I'm with y'all and that shit needs to be on PS5, not Xbox One. I don't know that game. I've been with Xbox since Halo Bro, came that out. Shit is fire. Like I don't get it. I I and to me, PlayStation seemed like it got most of the toxic racist kids on there. Like, when I used to have PlayStation back in the day, them kids was going wild on there with the fucking nigga this, nigga that little nine-year-old kids, man. I don't really get that much on, on Xbox. And I'm fucking with the Call of Duty. Anybody fucking with the Call of Duty? Is it just me? Call of Duty is the shit right now. Nah, my, my pops be on that shit heavy. He used to, you know what I'm saying? I never was with, like, the shooting games, man. I'm not good at it, man. I, I can't angle. I be fucking up, man. Like, yeah, I be yeah. getting... I can't angle it and run. Like, my coordination with that shit is just not there. But I bust niggas' ass in 2K. You know what I mean? I give niggas work in Tekken. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, these are these are some of the things that I, 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 I'm I good at. And I'm wild nice at, at Crash Bandicoot. Nobody's better than me. <laughs> Nobody. Hey, I used to fuck with the Tekken back in the day. I was kind of yeah. nice at that shit. A little bit nice with yeah, it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Street Fighter and all that. Oh, yeah, Street Fighter for sure. Um, in, in one of your interviews, uh, you talk about the fact that you came up in a time where cats would go at it in the ciphers. Um, is that how you came up? Gladiator school type of shit? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Free, freestyling with my cousin, you know what I'm saying, for a million hours, you know, going and battling niggas at the, at the basketball, the football games, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I done battled a couple times, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's just it's just coming up, man, from that era. You know what I'm saying? You know, watching the Smack DVDs and watching the Philly DVDs, you know, and seeing niggas go back and forth, man. It's just, I, I've always been part of that culture, man. Still so, yeah, sharp and steel, but you wasn't fucking with them niggas when they, because we talked about this on the show a couple of times, where niggas is all in your face spitting and yelling and you, not that type. Because where I come from, it was just a circle. It's, he, he's right there, I'm right here, and we spit our shit, but it wasn't all this aggressive in my face shit. Nah, yeah, I, I battle, yeah, yeah, I done battle niggas. Like, I done battle niggas. I mean, niggas, now, it's like a show. You know what I'm saying? It's on the stage. So, yeah, nigga gonna be mad animated in your shit, all that. But, you know, niggas that wasn't being disrespectful. Like, a nigga might get close to you or whatever, but it wasn't never nothing where, you know, you know, some shit'll pop off or nothing like that. You know what I mean? So, I yeah, guess I yeah. got a different energy. Maybe because my dad was so crazy. I don't know. It's like, if you get inside of my zone... I feel a certain kind of way about it. But, if I mean, shout to y'all if y'all could do that without breaking out into a fight. But I've seen mad videos. Um, you, you just got to go into it. You just got to go into it knowing that it's a battle. So a nigga going to be a, spitting aggressively at you. Spitting aggressively at you. So if you know that, then, you know, it's like a show. Like, you know what I mean? Unless a nigga violate, then, you know, whatever. You do whatever. Just right. don't don't spit in my, like, like, you know what I mean? Like, don't be all in my face spitting on me. I mean, I'm going to knock you the fuck out, but... You and know, if you say anything about my moms, you will not finish that line. 
we we banging. I could win, I could lose, but we yeah. banging. I right mean, there. battle rap, man, yo, son, it's a it's it's a you know, it's 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 a gladiator school for real, man. Right, you I mean, like, it depends, oh, right? So if you just say something like regular, like what a nigga would say on a, on a like generically, your mom's this. But if you bring them some real shit, <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like like don't I mean, say my mom, don't don't say her name or nothing like right. that. Right, okay. Right, you can keep it keep it generic, like yo, your mom. I had your mom. I had your yeah, right, like cool. that type shit. All right, I mean, but, but you call my mom name out. You know what I mean? You, you break out a picture of my mom. Name I know. Yeah, man. You know? Yeah, we're not gonna do that. You gonna have to walk the other way after the battle. You have to take the <laughs> other way home to your car. You have to take the bus because I'm gonna be sitting on your car waiting. <laughs> I want you to. I want you to finish this lyric for me. <laughs> finish this lyric. You you still there? Right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. All right, finish this lyric. Now, in my younger days, I used to sport a shag when I went to school. Yo, well, that sound like some, what's that, like some tribe? Close. Close. Let me do the voice again. Now, in my younger days, I used to sport a shag uh -huh. when I went to school. I... When I went to school. <laughs> Yo, dog, I don't know. When I, I went to school, I, I carry lunch in a bag, Alex, for five hundred. Who that? Um, far side. Oh yeah, man. Pass me by. I ain't, you know, I, I was just, still a young I, when Yeah, I, I know you know the song. I just, but my job is to, is, is to make this shit interesting to throw people off a little bit. Yeah, he threw me off with that one. Got him. Got him. Stop to the far side, though. Shout to the far side. Is that, that's the song. That's the song. Uh, passing me by, right? Yep. Definitely. Yeah, that's that's my shit. I just you know. Yeah, I know. Got too much music in my head, man. I went I went a whole different area of rap, whole different coast. Twenty something. I years knew it ago. was something. I knew it was something of that ilk though, like that ninety two to ninety four. Yeah. yeah. Jazz -y. Like I was thinking it might have been Tribe Called Quest or something. You know what I mean? Or maybe you know. But yeah, 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 yeah. I failed on that one, man. No, you good. You good. This is all just good fun. Hey, um, there's a lot of different theories coming out about COVID-19. Some people think it's a scam. What are your thoughts on what's going on and how we as Americans are handling this pandemic? I mean, now, I mean, it's hard to tell, man. You know what I mean? Um, how people are handling. I mean, you know, around my way, people are handling it pretty amicably. You know what I'm saying? Wearing their masks. You know what I'm saying? You know, nobody's like running around crazy. You know what I mean? It's not. It's it's not too many. You know, it was a couple protests and little riots here a couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago. You know what I'm saying? But um, I think Americans are settling into it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Overall, they mm -hmm. probably settling into it. You know what I mean? And, um, you, you, do you share this idea that it might be a scam, the whole thing, or no? I mean, y'all, there's so many scams out there that I know about that this is kind of like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, it's kind of like, um, I okay. get scared, though. I get scared. Because I see numbers on TV. I see people turn up dead. And then and they say if you're in a high-risk group and, you know what I mean, if your health ain't all the way right, and I, I smoke Newports, you know what I mean? So I get scared. Like, I feel like if I go out, somebody sneeze on me, I might go to the hospital and not come back. Man, y'all, you just got to say you funny as shit. <laughs> you don't want to say nothing. Do I man, talk, you don't want to say nothing. You want to say something, but you don't want to say it. Yeah, I mean, you know, you never know who's watching, man, but I will say this. Like, um, you just got to move smart out here, man. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You know, just, you know, wash your fucking hands. You know what I'm saying? Don't be around a bunch of people. Don't be, don't be trying to risk nothing. You know what I'm right. saying? Don't, right. you know, you know, I, you know, I went to the beach, but you know, I went to the far end. I wasn't around. I took my lady, went to the beach. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, just on some shit. I wasn't like around motherfuckers. Like, you just got to just be careful, man. You know what I'm saying? That's it. As far as like it being a scam, you know, it's definitely some shit with it. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely some shit with this. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But, you know, you just got to really maintain yours, man, and prepare for the worst. You know what I'm saying? Did you, you know? see that? That um, they I, I guess they have a name who the NFL player was, but he had a, a mansion party. And the news helicopter was over showing you all the people that was at his. It was a white mansion, and it was all party. Did you see that? And I yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I seen, I seen something like that. 
cops went in and busted him a few days ago or something like that. So I don't know. I feel like maybe that type of thing, it could be one of those super spreader events, you know, some asymptomatic motherfuckers running around, leave the party, fly back to New Jersey or some shit. Now they got, I really, I really feel like the schools opening is going to be the shit that fucks it up for yeah, for I agree. I agree. Schools opening up. I feel like, you know, you just never, you know, you, it's it's tough, man, because you know you're only getting what the news is telling you. You know what I'm saying? Like you're not, you know, you got to go through certain outlets to really get the real meat and potatoes of what's going on, man. Because you know, but it, let's just say that this is getting rampant, is getting worse. Going to school, putting your kids in school right now is just like you know, if that if it's really an airborne coronavirus disease still in or or whatever still in the air. Like, yo, why, why are schools opening? Why are y'all still trying to, uh, you know, people are still trying to, this shit, yo, this this shit is just in a fucking, it's, a, it's in a mess, dog. Just know yeah. that this shit is like fucked up right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even this upcoming election, it's just a lot going on, man. So that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, people, you know, vote locally. You know what I'm saying? Control who you put in, you know, that controls your, your environment, man, in, in, your, in, your, in your cities, in your towns. You know what and I'm then, saying? You know, yeah. And people think that, I know a lot of people say kids, um, you know, they don't get sick like adults. Listen, the kids is like vectors, disease vectors, right? So they, they could carry it home to Big Mama, and Big Mama could get sick. So that, that right. that's what the danger is in that. And then in terms of voting, I said this on IG, they try to make it seem like the vote by mail thing is going to be a disaster. Here's what we got to do. Get your mail-in ballots back early. As, don't wait. As soon as you right. get it. Fill it out, follow the instructions to the T, send that shit right back so we can get these votes back in as soon as possible. So on election night, it's not a whole, we need this, we need this guy to lose by five, six million votes. We need it to be a landslide so they don't try to do nothing funny with it. Because he going to try. Um, should there be a category at the Grammys for lyrical hip hop only? Or are the Grammys long past their relevance? Yeah, Grammys are all- I'm saying, I mean, I mean, it'd be nice to get one, but we're in a new, we're in a new era, man. You know what I'm saying? Like we're really, we're really like one, two years into a new era of music. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's almost like the walls are stripped. You know, we pretty much know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, everybody, if you're smart, if you're an artist, you know, you should know how to get yourself off the ground at least. And if, if, and if you're somebody like this in me and Lefty's position, you know, you should know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, so yeah, the Grammys, because uh, they, they never really treated niggas, you know, they never really, why? Don't do it now, because I'm going to see this pandering, and I'm tired of seeing fucking pandering around here. So I'm too much pandering. That, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel I me? agree. I agree. I mean, they gave Post Malone what? What is it? The, the rap artist of the year, some goofy man? Come the fuck on, man. I'm saying, man. It's all fuck goofy. that. I almost did a whole show about that. I didn't do it, I, but I was, I was, I remember I sat around for like two or three days thinking I was going to do a whole show about the Post Malone fuck shit. Um, yeah, and they, and they do it to get a reaction too. I mean, it, it's all, all of this shit, even the news, what we talk, like, it, it's all wrapped up in entertainment, man. Yeah. To keep you distracted from, you know, what the fuck is really going on, which will probably blow motherfuckers' minds. Oh, really? It's like, you know, oh. like 75% of you motherfuckers wouldn't be able to survive off what's really going on. So just... I know you yes, be on the research. Buddy. I know you be on it. So and yeah, we relate on that same level. Um, oh yeah, y- y'all seem to be working with it with 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 a close circle of producers. We're talking about Jay Levinson, Camouflage Monk, Straight Bangers, Benji Socrates, Farmer Beats, people like that. Have y'all made a concerted effort that you would rather not get beats from cats like, let's say, Pharrell, Battle Cat, and, and just keep it thorough with these few cats in your circle? Oh nah, I mean you know we 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 in house, but you know we definitely down to outsource. Okay, you know what I'm saying like you know I'm not. I want to get I want to work with a lot of different producers. You know what I'm saying you know we just, you know we just got our our core guys. You know what I'm saying like you know I got a I got a solid like, you know 15 producers that I I deal with daily. You know what I'm saying that um my got shit coming with. You know what I mean you just haven't been, you know we we still you know we we rolling this thing out. You know what I'm yeah. saying, but um, yeah, I would get a beat from Pharrell. It got it, it I it, it got to be hot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I ain't just working with nobody just because you a name, dog. Like, you know, like much respect to what you do, but you know, I'm not. 
not kissing nobody ass dog. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's a lot of yeah. I definitely would work with Pharrell though, and and everybody else, man. I'm a collaborative. I'm a collaborative artist. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. I, I've gotten where I'm at by collaborate. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And what do you expect to see in this um, upcoming Mike Tyson Roy Jones Jr. exhibition? Is it real? It's about to happen. I think September 12th. But they said it's going to be an exhibition. I think they said it's going to be headgear. Oh. I know, right? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> no. I don't even, that's what I'm saying, dog. Like, what happened? Like, we're really in the, yo, this future is whack, bro. You we can't go outside. You can't, you can't even show your drip off. Like, Mike, the niggas fighting in headgear. Like, what's happening? Yeah, I was, I was, ga I was hyped up for this matchup, and then I, I started reading, and they said, no, it's gonna be an exhibition. Money going Whoa. to charity. Charity is good, but when I hear the word exhibition, I'm like, ah, niggas gonna be slap boxing. Yeah, <laughs> like the fuck is Mike? The whole reason you watch a Mike Tyson fight is to see somebody die. You know what I mean? To see Mike tear somebody's head clean off their shoulders. Bro, you mean tell me bro. Mike ain't gonna be trying to kill this nigga? What's the point of me watching this? Yo, he's gonna yo, it's gonna turn to a real fight. That's oh, it's happens. got to, oh yeah. It's, it's gonna, gonna turn he, to a real fight. He's gonna snap. He gonna it's snap. Gonna turn, both of them niggas gonna get mad, but Mike is gonna knock Roy Jones block <laughs> off, man. He's gonna knock that nigga neck off his shoulders, man. <laughs> that all that 88 when he was 20 mentality gonna come in, he gonna you know what I mean? He, he's going to be bad for him. It's going to be bad for him, bro. Especially if Roy Jones get one off on him. Hey, you know, because, you know, also Roy Roy been known to spit too, right? Can't be stopped. Can't remember that? Yeah. That shit going to – yo, he going to go out like the boy did on Great White Hype. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna go out just like Terry Conklin, man. Yeah, and I, you, and I, and I'm a Roy fan. Like Roy had that that oh, yeah. um that hook that came out of nowhere. You could not see that motherfucker coming. Yeah, he nah, was he, was, he yo, he was the truth. Yeah, me, me and Rush always watch Roy Jones fights, yo. He he was like the new. He he wasn't like he wasn't like he had the star of like Tyson, but yeah. he was he was swift. You know what yeah. I mean? Like he was swift. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, man. But he, he's the yeah. He don't want no smoke watch, with Tyson, man. I watched Roy Jones Jr. knock a nigga out with a body shot. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I see, see that hit too. him up, hit the nigga in the kidney, and the nigga just took a knee and said, "Yeah, nigga, nigga, buckle." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he said, "Nigga, I'm the nigga, nigga turned into a question mark." <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> you know what I mean, I seen that shit. <laughs> hey, yeah. He told the ref, "Nigga, this is go somebody get my check, get my bag, yo, I'm out. start the car." <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Had enough. <laughs> you know what I mean? This nigga that shattered my kidney. <laughs> Yo, I'm going to watch it, though. Like, I'm going to watch it, though. I'm going to check it out. I'm going to be oh. mad the whole time if oh. it's like a little cute little, you know what I'm saying? Hey, if we still do a quarantine, which I think we will be when that fight come out, of course. There ain't nothing else to do. So, Mike Tyson and Roy Jones inside the same ring? Yeah, let's get it. I'm, I'm there yeah. for that. I've been um, watching all these. I've been watching all these bum ass verses. I'm tired of that, man. I need. I need to see some niggas. And I don't think know, I have seen any other. I've seen the clip of the verses. I saw Snoop Dogg and. They not. They not bum ass shit. I just right, 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 that, right. Was, they not bum. Cool. It was cool. Some of you know. Some of them was eh, but you know what yeah. I mean. Most of them, you know what I mean. Snoop and X. That was classic. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Except except for the dancing. Yeah, y'all can get at me. <laughs> That's that. Snoop Dogg. Like, That's my niggas. niggas we do. Yeah, That's yeah, I get it. But y'all think he's dead. Yeah, nigga, he got wild rhythm, yo. Yeah, hey, but uh, I, I think the one that goes down in, in infamy is the one with um, Teddy Riley Babyface, the first one. Oh, man. When Teddy couldn't get the shit together and he, he was doing too much. That nigga Babyface had the utmost patience with this nigga, yeah. man. Yeah. I was like, yo, I was getting mad at his patience. Like, nah, dog, snap <laughs> on this nigga. He's yeah. fucking up. Right. <laughs> Right, and that nigga know, started it from the top of the top. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm like, dog. Right, yo, they played. Yo, it was crazy, but yeah, yeah, man. You know what I mean? But you know, and I, it was sad to see, yo. It was sad to see Jada, Jada just win like that, man. I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fan. I'm, I'm a fabulous. I was a fabulous fan for years, yo. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that shit was cool. Fabulous is um. Punchline crazy. He crazy with the punchlines. Yo, he when, I, when I first yeah, heard he I'm Raw by Fabulous, 
Um, and then Breathe by Fabulous, which is a crazy concept record. I don't know if people understand that Breathe is a concept record. My real MCs know, but like the casual fan Absolutely. might not understand that he really talk about air and oxygen and breathing. That whole yep. damn song, just metaphors all over the place. So right. my, my next question, what spitter would you like to collab with that you haven't already? You said what spitter? Yeah, what spitter? What MC would you like to collab with? I would do something with Gibbs. I want to do something with Gibbs. I want to okay. do something with uh, Action Bronson. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, ASAP Rocky. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, it's like a bunch of niggas, man. For real, for real. I could go on and on, man. But off top, probably next. The next, the next, like, you know, nigga I might grab, like, on some big shit, probably be Gibbs. You know what I'm saying? Or Bronson. And you worked you know with Kanye, I mean? Conway before. So um, do you... What has Griselda, the movement that Griselda has put, what do you think that has meant to the resurgence of this new shit, the lyrical, the bringing back the lyrical shit? Shit, man. Honestly, everything. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You know, shit was, for, you know, how, how I came about it, you know, I was already a fan of Action Bronson. When I seen Bronson, I was like, yo, that's how I could be in the game. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, he was doing a lot of work with um, Rock Marcy. That's how I learned about Rock Marcy. You know what I'm saying? And then, um, you know, uh, Gun, he did a song with Action Bronson produced by Alchemist. That's all it took, those two names, for me to check it out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, I tapped in, and I immediately already knew what it was because I, I already – I'm cut from that cloth. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm cut from it. So they was literally bringing back everything that I already had – was familiar to me when it came to like golden era, new revitalist, you know what I'm saying, MCing. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, yeah, they did a, a, a hell of a lot, man. They resurged this shit. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, you got to give niggas props. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, you got niggas like the guy Fahim, you know what I'm saying, who helped contribute to that and then form his own, you know, his own dynasty, you know what I'm saying, with Mock. And then, like, you know, for him to extend the olive branch to me, left, that's how, you know what I'm saying, you know, you know, we're, we're, we're all making, like, some of the most prime shit, you know what I'm saying, in this shit now, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, you know, it definitely, uh, it definitely helped, you know, inspire me, you know what I'm saying, you know. And I'm, I'm just going to assume that we're going to see you working with, with Conway and, and those Griselda boys uh, again in the future. At I mean, I'm pretty sure. I can see that. I can see that. I mean, I mean, I mean, Benny, my homie, for real. You know what I'm saying? You know, I used to, I used to kick it with Benny all the time, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, word? You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. We used to, you know what I'm saying? We, we built a couple times. Linked in Atlanta and shit, you know what I'm saying? You know, go Alchemist track for Alchemist track. You know what I'm saying? You know, I used to build all the time. Yeah. When I was fucking with uh, Fredro, you know what I'm saying? I hit him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, Fredro reaching out. What you think? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, niggas done built. You know what I'm saying? You know, him and Lefty, you know what I'm saying? Them built. You know what I'm saying? You know, niggas done. I know that. Know, uh, yeah, I know that Lefty did We in this underground shit for real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, we, we, we in this underground shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, you know, we, we didn't really connect it with, you know, a lot of top dogs, you know what I'm saying, to get where we at. You know what I'm saying? That's why we, that's why me and Lefty are so got the synergy because we, you know, we really moved through this shit together and ran into niggas and, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, real quick, Rhapsody fan page. Good looking out, Sonny Blocko, Maurice Riddick, Norman Bates. Just random shout outs. Thank y'all. Just want to say that real quick. What's next for Jay Nice? What's next for me? Probably gonna drop on um, three, four more projects for the years out. Me and Stack got an album coming. You know what I mean? Called El Topo. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, you know, it's pretty much like a sequel to the Holy Mountain. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got an album with Colbert Hagen Crates coming. You know what I mean? With this one producer called Machacha. You know I was what I mean? just on their page the other day, Colbert Hagen Crates. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are my homies. We did, we done did a couple of vinyl together. You know what okay. I'm saying? And, um, yeah, we got an album. I got an album coming with them called A Stream of Consciousness. You know what I'm saying? So that's and they really from Copenhagen. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely from, Dem from Denmark. So you you talking about like four? 
three or four more projects before the year is out. Let me ask you a question. A lot of people are dropping a lot of stuff. I, it's my job to listen to all of this stuff. I got Flea dropping an album every single month. I got Griselda drop, I don't know how many projects this year. Um, how are we as fans supposed to keep up with everything y'all doing? Um, it used to be somebody would drop an album a year. But I'm not in the mm -hmm. music industry. I'm a journalist looking at it from the outside now. What is mm -hmm. different now that y'all have to drop two or three albums um, inside of five, six months? What's 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 the idea behind that? Well, well, for me, it's not a half. It's just, you know, I just work. You know, I, I'm proficient mm -hmm. at what I do. Like, it, it's really, if you're going to make an album that's seven tracks, right? Mm -hmm. It's really nothing to write seven tracks for, for especially if... Yeah. You know, you know, I, I I'm an artist for for like I I I live off my music, you know what I'm saying. So you know, I, I got time to dedicate to my career, you know yeah. what I'm saying. So it's nothing to put together a short EP, you know what I'm saying. That fly art EP, man, that shit took a day, you know what I'm saying. As far as writing it, recording it, you know what I mean. Niggas just move faster in these days, man. And you gotta some fans, you know, they consume quick, and for me, like they'll consume your shit and then they be on to the next. You know what I'm saying. You know, for me. I just feel like I still got a lot of catching up to do as far as my catalog is concerned. So I'm just mm -hmm. building my catalog. You know what I mean? Uh, another another one in the chamber. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you know, when the big boys or whoever, you know what I'm saying, really somebody that wanna invest some money, you know, peer into my shit, you know, it's it's a real, you know, it's real shit there. You know what I mean? It's a real healthy catalog there. You know what I mean? A real good music. You know what I'm saying? So that's, and I'm just a creative, man. Like I said, man, I, I got that spirit of my grandfather in me, dog. Like, you know, these, these raps is paintings. You know what I'm saying? These these albums is paintings. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really, I really, I'm really into this shit. So, you know, I just, you know, it, it's nothing to me. You know what I'm saying? You know, and when somebody discovers a Jay Nice, you know what I mean? They're like, damn, he got a, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's just, it's just the times, man. You okay. know, we, we, we all working hard. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's, it's a great time in, in, in music right now, especially in our in our lane of underground rap. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to try to keep up with it. I just don't need, you know, the people that's in my car. Don't get mad at me because I didn't hear everything. Because um, it's like six albums right now that everybody know about and talking about that I have not listened to. I don't got the time. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm doing other shit. I'm getting prepared for this fucking interview. I'm putting this, putting <laughs> this product out. But um, luckily, I went and listened to that uh, Fly Art project. As soon as I saw that you posted it, I'm glad I did. Because that's when I said, yo, now I got to go get this dude. Now, I've been waiting all this time to talk to Jay Nice. Now it's time to reach out. It was it was perfect. You know, God is going to make everything happen in this due time. Uh, and then for y'all out there watching this interview right now, go check out, uh, just a recommendation, go check out St. Sebastian. St. Sebastian. Oh, go yeah, check the video the out. So fly. That's so fly. Shit. Oh, my God. It's so good. That's shit. Uh, and I do want to thank you for, again, taking your time out and, and blessing us with the conversation. It was a big deal for me to have you here. Of course, we're going to have you back in the future. Uh, I'm sure a lot more people are going to be supporting you after watching this interview. Um, but, you know, thank you so much, Jay Nice, for stopping through. We appreciate it. Hey, man, I appreciate you, bro, man. Salute everybody that's watching this, man. Just know that we out here to win. 302 in the building, Duke Fly Talker, Flair Joy. Salute to my nigga Mike Powers, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all subscribe to this channel if you're not already. You know what I mean? Fly art out now. Get Fly money, art man. right yeah. now. Go get it. Band cam. Anywhere else you can buy the shit. It's a classic album. And other than that, I'm Mike Powers. I'm out.